Coffee chat day 16. Uh, you know the drill by now. Grab yourself a coffee, sit down, and enjoy the vibe. Just got back from church. Pretty good, pretty good. I haven't gone to church since... Friday, so, like, you know, it's, it's nice being back in there. You know, like, it, you really start to notice just how much going to church helps you when you stop going. And, like, I know I only stopped going for, like, a weekend. Like, you know, I missed one mass, but, like, you know, you, you can really feel it. Like, you can feel a difference in your mood after you come back home from church you can notice that you feel more pleasant and more calm in your thoughts and like you feel closer to god and all that so like you know like if you're a christian go to church i'm pretty sure i've already said this before but i really want to convert to an orthodox church because there's two churches near me. Uh, there's a Catholic church and there's an Orthodox church. And I really want to convert to the Orthodox one because right now I'm Catholic. But, you know, I don't really know how to go about the whole process of switching to, uh, you know, to switch into Orthodox. I don't know how to go through that whole process. But, you know, like, I... I imagine if I just went and then asked, like, hey, I'm I'm new here. They could probably help me out. I mean, churches are very welcoming, especially, like, the good ones. But me and my mate were talking about this. Uh, he's another Christian. Me and him were talking about, like, how some organized religion and, like, some churches tend to literally blaspheme the message of God. And, you know, like, it's borderline heresy, but, you know, like, wait till Judgment Day to judge. We're on to the uh, second week of me tallying how many smokes I have. Uh, we're down by three, like, for the weekly total. Are we? Hmm. We're down by, like the weekly average before was eleven, rounded up obviously, and the weekly average for the last week, the first weekly average was eleven. The weekly average for a second one was ten. So you know we're we're taking it down by one, and that's that's pretty good because we're gonna be having that progress, and I'm hoping that. By the, I'm hoping that nine weeks from now, I will be at one smoke a week, essentially. Well, one, weekly average being one, and then from there, like, it's gonna be pretty easy to quit. Just cut it down even more and more and more. Honestly, by then, I'll probably be able to do cold turkey. But, like, I don't want to risk it because when I do cold turkey on pretty much anything, I tend to come back and I really, like, undo all the progress that I have done. So, you know, I want to actually take my time. Like, there's no rush. Hopefully there's no rush. But, yeah. Again, if you haven't, if you are not a smoker, don't start smoking. Genuinely just don't. It, like... Do as I say, not as I do. Because when, when I went cold turkey, I was getting, like, a lot of mental health issues. Like, after a week of doing it. Like, I was perfectly fine for, like, the first few days. If anything, I was, like, happier. But, you know, like, once you... 
once you get to like a week of not smoking after being a smoker you tend to like really struggle mentally so you know just don't get into it it's annoying to quit if anything that's the best word I can use to describe it it's annoying to quit it's not hard it's just really really annoying Because, you know, like, once you start smoking, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> like, literally, this is proving to do nothing. Everyone says, oh, it's stress relief. It, it doesn't relieve stress. If anything, it makes you more stressed to smoke. So yeah, after this, I'm going to be getting myself a monster, getting myself a pre-workout snack, heading straight to the gym, and we'll be sorted, we'll be doing good today. After that, kind of visit my grandparents, read a Bible, and then boom, we're done. Not read a Bible, I'm not going to read a whole Bible, but you know, I'm going to read some of the Bible. Also, I placed an order for the Bible yesterday, so once that gets here, we'll be doing the daily chapter reading, and I'm very excited for that. So far, it's been a good day. Like, I woke up at around 6 and just did all the mental health habits, you know, did my prayer, did all that. Took a shower and, yeah, went to church. We're here now. I, I really want to experiment with recording my, uh, like, these episodes. Not episodes, these, uh... I guess they are kind of episodes, but like, these videos, I want to record them before I go to the gym, so that way, like, I can come back and I won't have to worry about, like, oh, I need to record these videos, I need to, I need to do YouTube, I need to, yeah. Because, like, I'd rather just go straight from the gym to my grandparents, and then just chill there for a bit, and like, you know, have like, that nice little after gym vibe where I'm just sitting there having a cup of tea with like my family and all also I noticed one of my videos got like a lot of dislikes uh, I think it was Hatred won't serve, not hatred, uh, hate won't serve you. That got like four dislikes, so, you know, it's kinda, mm, I mean, I understand why, like, most of these, most of those type of videos were recorded in, like, very quick su succession from each other. So, like, you know, they might not be the most valuable things, but. You know, I still like to think I put some value in there. It could just be that I misspoke a bunch and that kind of up the dislike ratio, but hey, it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. I'm not going to take it down or anything. It's like, yeah, you can see it in its flawed state if you wish. I mean, the title itself pretty much says everything you need to know about that video, so yeah. I still need to do some work on that longer video. I have not done anything for that longer video. <laughs> I, I have uh, this app called Notion on my phone. That's where I would, like, when I was scripting my videos, that was where I would go to script my videos. 
So I'll probably be doing like some scripting while I'm like resting in between sets today. Just because today is a strength focused day for a bench, which means I'm gonna be, you know, taking longer rests in between sets. Oh, excuse me. So you know, like I'll, I'll have enough time to script like something, like probably get the intro done. I'm really excited for that video too because I want to like go outside and like record all these cinematic shots. I mean, I'm gonna be recording them on an iPhone, so maybe not the most cinematic thing, but you know, like it. I, I'm hoping it will turn out good. Essentially, like, I feel like the message that I want to convey with that video is sort of very important. Because a lot of us have lost, like, that childhood, like, spark. Like, that childhood wonder. That childish wonder for life and all. And I'm hoping that video can, like, maybe bring it back for some people. Because, you know, that... That's what the video is going to be about. It's going to be about exploring and experiencing new things. Speaking of which, I need to experience some new things. <laughs> like, I, I'm i doing, like, basically the same thing every day. And I really want to shake up the routine a bit. I want to shake it up in a meaningful way, too. Well, not shake up the routine. I'm very happy with, like, my current routine. But I really want to, like, make a new experience happen, like, pretty frequently. But it's kind of hard to experience new things when, like, you know, I've basically traveled every road in my, like, hometown. So, like, I know where everything is. Like, I can't find a new place. Maybe I'm just saying that, like, uh, I haven't explored everything, obviously. But, you know, it's just that, like, search for something new that's probably gonna be, like, the hardest part. I need to write a poem, too, today. Because... In case you haven't watched like any of the uh, previous coffee chats and you're watching this far into this one, which thank you by the way. Uh, I've been trying to write poetry every day just to sort of like, you know, have like a little bit of an outlet. Like sort of want to get back into art too. Like getting back into art would definitely be pretty fun. I, I was a very artsy kid. So, you know, it'd be pretty fun to like get back into drawing and like making music and all. Coffee's done. So yeah, that's everything I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.